Welcome to the 4C Fitness Show, starring Michelle and Lisa Cast, live from Skinny Man 31 Studios in the heart of Times Square, New York. And now, here are your hosts, Michelle and Lisa Cast. Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, November 5th, 2014. Welcome to episode 49 of the 4C Fitness Show, where our motto is choose, commit, challenge, and change. Very nice. <laughs> Sorry, it just like struck That's a me. new line. Yeah, it was like, whoa. I am Michelle. And I'm Lisa. Today we have Lindsay Goldstein, co-founder of Ceviche, an amazing, healthy, and convenient spot to fuel your active lifestyle, located in New York City's Union Square, tonight here on the 4C Fitness Show. So excited. I'm very excited. Oh my gosh. This is one of my new fave places. I wish it was closer to where I work. I know. I wish we were going there again tonight after like the show. Like every night. <laughs> every night. And more on that later. You're going you're gonna to understand why. Thank soon. you so much for being here, Lindsay. My pleasure. Thanks for having <laughs> of me. Of course. For those of you joining us for the first time, Michelle and I began our weight loss journey back in 2008 when we auditioned for The Biggest Loser. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't make it on the show. It was more unfortunate for them than it was for us. True. Their loss. <laughs> it was our gain. That's right. <laughs> and uh, we've lost 240 pounds combined ever since. Absolutely. We started 4C Fitness because people would ask us how we were seeing so much success along our weight loss journey. We realized our passion to help others as well and spread the love. And um, I got my NASM personal training certification and we started the 4C Fitness Show as a health and fitness resource. We forge partnerships with other health and fitness enthusiasts and professionals like Lindsay here of Ceviche, even though she's not a health and fitness professional. She she's has a great enthusiast. healthy thought. Yeah, and an enthusiast. We like to bring a variety of sustainable information to our followers as the fitness world continues to grow and change. Our mantra, as I said before, is the four C's, choose, commit, challenge, and change. We feel these four components are the key to creating a successful, healthy lifestyle. We want to thank everyone who's been tuning in, everyone who's joining us for the first time tonight, everyone who is a Ceviche enthusiast maybe who's tuning in. Yeah. Uh, we want to thank everyone for the feedback, for the input, for the positive response, and we want to continue to learn what it is that you guys are interested in knowing about, so reach out to us and we will bring you exciting, interesting, and fun show topics and delicious ones as well. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Always delicious. We're always looking for something new yeah, to eat food, that definitely. will fit into our lifestyle. It's and, really uh, hard, and, and we're so glad that we found Ceviche. Definitely. Now we need to like get Ceviche located everywhere we go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> working on it. Working on it. <laughs> we'll let you know, Lindsay, where we really need it, yeah. and then you'll set up shop. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. Um, on to the, some noteworthy news. Our 50th episode and, and first anniversary party is uh, on its way. It is. It's Next right Friday. around the corner. Hooray. Um, Friday, November 14th. It's going to be from 7 to 10 with some great drink specials, food, raffle tickets, and giveaways and more. RSVP is November 6th, so if you haven't RSVP'd yet, please shoot us an email. And a huge thank you to everyone who has donated amazing prizes, including there'll be a gift card from Ceviche there. Yay! So you got to come down, throw in your raffle ticket, and uh, that's right. you're definitely going to want to win that, that's for sure. Lindsay, will you be there? I will be there. So you guys definitely. will also meet Lindsay in, in awesome. person. So there's nothing better than that. If anything, just come for her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. She's an amazing person. Yes, absolutely. So we completed our virtual Halloween 5K last Friday with our friends in Hoboken. We got another medal. It's our second medal. So exciting. So now we have like a medal rack. It's a pretty, it's a pretty cool medal. It's real it's life. It's like a hologram. Yeah. And it spins. So we did it. We did it in, what was it like 36 minutes after all the stops and starts? Yeah. Not so bad. We do it for the accessories. That's right. And the fashion. It That's why fun. we run. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> the fashion is true. And uh, we headed down to the New York City Marathon this weekend to watch friends and family run the race and all so the great. other runners. We were cheering everybody on. It was really inspiring and motivating. Uh, it was a great time for us. Hopefully, the runners had a great time as well. I think most of them did. <laughs> yeah. The ones that decided to do it again next year. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> hopefully, you know, maybe we'll be there next maybe. year. Maybe. I'm the crazy person who already said, I'm going to run Marine Corps and then New York City the week after. No. No. <laughs> That's not happening. It's probably not going to happen. Have you ever ran a marathon? I have not. Ever been interested in running a marathon? You know, I mean, a 5K would probably be uh, my limit at, this, at the level I'm at right now. But not bad. I enjoy running for personal pleasure. It clears my mind be outside. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot Especially of... Especially while we definitely. can. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> the weather's beautiful right mm -hmm. now, so... Um, we are actually also going to our first team and training meeting this weekend to gear up for our potential half and full marathon <laughs> in Alaska. I know that was going to happen eventually. <laughs> I know. 
How many weeks ago did we have our team and training show? And now here we are. So we're going to go check that out and we'll let you guys know where we're at with that. Apparently we're going to Alaska. Apparently. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Apparently I'm going to try to run a full marathon in Alaska. I don't doubt it. (laughs) Lisa's not going to do the full marathon. No, definitely not. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. And we have a meeting with Alex of Pure Yoga tonight, which we're excited about. We haven't done a yoga show, so, you know, hopefully she'll be on board. And we have additional upcoming guests, Michelle of Reverence Apparel, Jody of Pulse Fitness. And if there's anyone you want to see on the show, reach out to us, uh, and uh, we'll we'll find our way to them and, and have them on here. Absolutely. On to the exercise excitement. Um, unfortunately, Team Misfits has broken up. <laughs> womp, womp. It's sad, but it's funny. I'm sad about it. It's like, who knew there was drama in the world of health and fitness it happens uh, who knew There's drama everywhere of course <laughs> but it was just so um i'm waiting on a new routine seeing which direction i'm going to be going with things i there'll be no more team misfits so we'll keep you guys posted i will be continuing the same kind of routine i was doing to keep with that progress so on yeah. top of that we've been working with kim from in shape with mm-hmm. our running so that's kind of the status quo for our exercise excitement right now yep yeah. and uh we also have a plank routine Greatest November 30-day plank challenge, and also we have Shrinking Jeans Planks Giving. We do. So the greatest one was the first one that I had come across. Oh, my and gosh. And we have their calendar. We do. I can't really see it that well, but you have it. I do have it. <coughs> so basically, it's every day you're going to increase your time. Mm-hmm. So it starts with uh, 22 20-second intervals oh, cool. of planking, and then it goes up to 30 seconds for two days, 40 seconds, and then a rest. And I guess eventually by the end of the month, you're doing a five-minute plank. Whoa. Wow. That's crazy. I was doing a three-minute plank, and then I actually scaled down a little because I felt like I should be doing a better two-minute plank before I pushed it to Sure, because form is important. Yeah, Otherwise, what's the point? Yeah. And so we did the same thing last year, too, planks giving for the shrinking jeans. Do planks give thanks. This is what they seem to do every November. So it's the same. I knew that looks familiar. You get up to three (laughs) minutes with them. So if you're kind of maybe brand more new to planking, you might want to do the the shrinking jeans version. Five minutes is a little excessive, but maybe greatest will get you there. Maybe we can do it. Hey, who knows? I mean, I'm sure we could do it, but I just don't want to hurt myself. Um, The um, shrinking jeans will tell you exactly how to do it, what your form should be like. They say it's quality, not quantity that counts. I agree 100%. If you're doing a very poor five-minute plank, you have more of a tendency to hurt yourself than a really good two-minute plank. So see what you guys want to try and and check it out, and we'll post those as well on our blog. Planks are important. Yes. And on to, uh, as well, some exercise excitement. So, Lindsay, you had an idea to do fitness classes in Ceviche. Yeah, we're uh, in the bottom of a, the NY, one of the NYU dorm buildings, and we're surrounded by all sorts of gyms of different kinds and all these trainers. And so I thought um, offering a once-a-week free class, showing people without even fitness equipment, you can get a great workout. That's awesome. You don't need much space. And um, so we're hoping to launch that in the next couple of weeks. That's, That's really so cool. much fun. We'll have to check that out. And it's great that you can bring in different types of workouts and trainers. And it's a really good offering for the community. So... Very cool. We'll post about that, too. Definitely. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. On to the magazine rack. So we have two great articles Mm -hmm. that Ceviche was featured in. Um, The first is Citrus Write Down from Pure Wow. Basically, it gives a short little review on Ceviche. It was... Written back in July because it, it notes that it's a it was a steamy day in a steamy July evening and so what's the first thing you order? Um, ceviche, obviously, the article says, which I thought was great, um, and notes that the you know this dish ceviche no longer has to be something special, aka expensive, as a starter for you you know for for dinner. Um, at a sit-down spot, but now you can find it at Grab and Go, which is ceviche, basically. And it's really conveniently located in Union Square, which we'll talk about the location more in a little bit. Um, And there's a bunch of different ordering options. I mean, the menu's fantastic. Thank you. It really is. I mean, when we met with Lindsay and she brought us out samples of everything, I was like, wait, you can get, like, all of this? <laughs> we had to create a full menu around the basis of one specific dish, but there's so many flavors, and ten times the ideas we had we could put on our menu. I so. could imagine it could be, like, just off, off 
off the wall. You'd run out of space, yeah. almost everything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you know this this article from Pure Wow just kind of gives a brief overview, and that's basically that's it. I mean, there's so many different choices: shrimp, salmon, tilapia, ahi tuna, and again, we'll go through more menu options in a little bit. Definitely. And which one do you have over there? Michelle? So I have the Gothamist, which they basically um, kind of review what's on the menu, uh, what's offered. Um, this was also from back in the summertime, correct? When yes. you guys have mm-hmm. first opened, yeah. So they talk about um, what kind of ceviche you, ceviche you can order, the tacos and burritos, really cool. And I love at the end, Union Square is a mere half block away for Alf. So basically you can take it to go and sit in Union Square and close your eyes and imagine you're you know in this warm environment and eating this delicious food. Mm-hmm. So it's really cool. You can sit in, you can take it out, you can get delivery. Um, we got to get you guys on Well and Good too. Yes. Yeah. Next up, well and good. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> that would be awesome. So yeah. we'll be posting those uh, features on our blog. Yep, yeah, just so you guys can learn a little more about that. Definitely. And am I up again? You are. I can't keep up. <laughs> the recipe of the week. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. This rice is ridiculous. So when we, <laughs> we had left uh, Lindsay's and we brought a little sample of the food to our friends, the coconut rice was like the hit. Like, totally amazing. So can you tell us a little bit more about how someone can make this? Absolutely. Um, it's actually a very easy recipe. It's very popular for us. People come in asking about it all the time. I've never revealed our recipe. Oh, no. <laughs> um, well, don't give all your to. secrets. I won't. I won't. I'm happy to. It's a really great dish. It's easy to make. You can make it at home, and it's special. It's something... You know, just for yourself or for guests or Thanksgiving. It's That's awesome. It's really something memorable that a lot of people come in for mm-hmm. um, often. So, cool. um, so the recipe goes like this. You just take a basic rice cooker. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll put the exact measurements on the website sure. with the yeah, recipe. Definitely. Mm-hmm. But you're going to simmer a little bit of olive oil and um, diced red pepper until the, or, I'm sorry, red onion, until the red onion um, softens up a bit. You're going to add jasmine rice. Stir it all up so it's um, so all the rice gets coated in the olive oil. Add water and coconut milk wow. and let it cook down. Once it's done, add just a tiny touch of salt and some. We put toasted coconut flake in it for that extra touch. Um, oh, nice. And it's really a simple, special dish. It really is. Yeah. It adds such a... I don't know, like dimension. I could eat it like on its own. I could eat it with the ceviche. I could eat it like any which way. Mm-hmm. So good. Good. Thanks yeah. for sharing My that. Pleasure. Absolutely. That's so cool. And I love the the cheat of the week mm-hmm. that you can actually um, get at ceviche is the nacho average bowl. Yes, we had to put a couple cheat items on the menu. Of course. Yeah. Nice. Um, still made with all very clean ingredients, but it's our... You know, so everyone wants to have some fun with their food. And our, our menu is very fun and very colorful with the flavors. Um, this is something uh, for not our our main demographic, but it's our nacho <laughs> bowl. Uh, we also do, besides the seafood, we, do, we offer chicken, slow-roasted pulled chicken and veggie options. So we took our chicken, um, put it in a bowl with um, coconut rice, our handmade corn tortilla chips, the um, barbecue pulled chicken, our fresh made pico de gallo, fresh guacamole, cheddar cheese, and then a trio of sauces. We put our house made barbecue sauce, our chipotle mayo, and sour cream drizzled on top. Wow. Bomb. Next sheet day at Ceviche. <laughs> I would even have it on a non cheat day, to be honest. True. How fresh their ingredients are. I know. Forget about it. I mean, like, this is not even a cheat. But. For those of you who are very strict, yes. head down there for the. I ma- wouldn't like go have like, my bowl. most killer workout and then have it, but okay, <laughs> maybe like a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad of a cheat, but definitely something indulgent. Absolutely. So on to the real talk. Uh, inspired by a few things, so we do a little segment called Real Talk every week, where we kind of just go off the cuff and talk about something that's inspiring something from the past week that was a challenge no matter what it is so i was thinking about Lindsay's story Mm -hmm. and how she kind of um took a chance and was like i'm just gonna go for this i'm gonna you know pack up all my stuff and and try to get you know to new york or wherever i end up and you know she had this great idea for ceviche which is amazing and i'm just thinking about you know in us going for our dreams and and you know people that we know who have visions and dreams and talents and it's like how do you stick to that while you're also you know have to survive make a living support yourself and you're not really sure if your dream is really going to be a A reality reality. and Mm -hmm. it's it's you know it's a challenge but it's something you kind of have to stay positive so it's funny because there's nothing more fulfilling and I think I said this to you last night or this morning than the hard work it takes that you put in 
and then the outcome that you get from it. I mean, we've seen it with weight loss. Lindsay has seen it, I'm sure, with, you know, the success of your businesses and especially, you know, with Ceviche, it's a labor of love for you. Um, but and the hard work along the way, as grueling as it can be, and as much as you say to yourself, is this really going to happen? Once it does, you're like, oh, my God, I'm here. Yeah. It happened. It's happening. I'm so glad I didn't give up. I'm so glad that each and every day I just put a little more into it. And that, that's all it took. And as time's going to go by whether or not you do it. So why not just do it? Right? What do you think? It's really important. And it's scary. And it's mm -hmm. hard. And that's what makes it really worth it. Every day I walk to the restaurant, I just can't believe I own a restaurant in Union Square and I believe in the product and the mm -hmm. vision and, and what we're offering and something completely different than anybody else is offering out there right now. And um, it's it's definitely a labor of love, but if you don't go for it, it's, it's never going to happen. Obviously, calculated risks and not putting sure. yourself <laughs> in, any, um, in any danger. Harm's way. Yeah. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, the, you know, and, and making sure you understand that when it's toughest, there's just lessons to learn mm -hmm. and get through it and, and don't give up and, you know, reflect on past decisions you made, right or wrong, and um, really keep going because lessons are everywhere. Keep your eyes and your ears open and kind of trust the universe sometimes. That's right. I agree. That applies to so much, yeah. to so much in life. From Definitely. one end of a spectrum to another. Couldn't Definitely. have said it better myself. So Thanks, Lindsay. Great real talk. Thanks, ladies. Yeah. All right. Moving All right. On. We're moving on. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just want to transport it. <laughs> it's transport us to the restaurant and do the show <laughs> right there. So we could eat and everything else. <laughs> okay. So here's, a, you know, onto the weekly theme, which is basically, obviously, ceviche. So a little bit about Lindsay here. Uh, she graduated from Florida International University Hospitality Management Program, and she took so much of her education and applied it to become a very, very successful project manager. Um, she developed the concept for Ceviche in 2012 after you executed the purchase of a, f a fleet of shrimping boats. Mm -hmm. That's oh pretty cool. Goodness. We didn't talk about this last week. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty When impressive. I read that, I was like, oh, look at that. That's really cool. I got called Bubba Gum for a couple of years. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I can't even imagine, like, if you're not watching, Lindsay is beautiful, and I could just see her just, like, signing contracts to purchase <laughs> shrimping boats. Like, you can't see it. You just can't like, see it. Oh, hi, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Took a little bit for the captains to take me seriously. I'm sure. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure it helps that you're six foot tall. So, <laughs> <laughs> so with that, you were, in, you were intrigued about experimenting with fresh fish. Yeah, it kind of came naturally. Started bringing it home. I, I love seafood. That's mm -hmm. why, until now, I've really lived predominantly on the ocean. And um, and started bringing it home, making it for friends in a casual way, and everybody just loved it, jumped on board, and so, so cool. kind of piqued my uh, my imagination with everything. I mean, it could, you know, one of your greatest ideas can be spawned from, like, the, you know, a completely offset mm -hmm. situation, so that's really cool. And you actually began your um, hospitality experience in 2006 uh, with the creation of a branding and merchandising firm called Clubs Merch. Mm hmm and a uh, really cool product that you came up with was the Walk of Shame kit, which uh, yeah, that was hotels so cool. all over the world were selling, and it was pretty popular, huh? Yeah, it was a fun project, uh, a little controversial, which I always love. <laughs> why not? And why not? Um, <laughs> people had a lot of fun with it. Nightclubs and hotels just ate it up because that's you know a lot of their sure you know a lot of their engagement is mm -hmm. with people that. Like all right, all it. night. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and it was nothing sexual. It was, you know, a, a t-shirt, dress, sunglasses, yeah. flip-flops, practical things. That's so funny. That, um, that everyone needs if yeah. they're, you know, frequenting the walk of shame. Mm -hmm. And then also um, many local projects in Miami Beach, beer and burger joint restaurant. Mm -hmm. And that's where um, you and your business partner, Raina Laws, worked together for the first time. Yes. And you guys realized that, you know, you just clicked. We're a great team. And when it came to... Doing a project like this on my own, I knew I needed a strong partner. I was very fortunate enough to already have her in my life uh, as friends and, and former colleagues. That's really important. Yeah, and definitely. Success is right there, part of the foundation. Uh, and also, I love the fact that you opened up a boutique kickboxing studio also in South Beach, Florida, Sobe Kick. Yes. That's so cool. And that you just found a, a 
rundown warehouse and turned it into something magical. Yeah, right. Not a surprised. Not <laughs> <laughs> a great spot in South Beach. Actually, um, right when I left the burger and beer joint, uh, which is obviously heavy, you know, right? food <laughs> and, and lots of drinks, uh, went to um, trying to, you know, I've always been drawn to the, the fitness lifestyle and, and staying in shape. So uh, somebody approached me about doing this and I thought there was a real need in the market a lot of people are into the fight sports and such a great workout mm-hmm. and I think for women it's empowering yes. to, to learn how to protect yourself mm-hmm. even though that wasn't the focus it really was fitness it, it really feels good to know that you know you have that strength inside of you you've hit something before in right. a controlled <laughs> environment <Yeah. laughs> it's very empowering that's awesome mm-hmm. and that now you know you're the co-owner and operator of Ceviche and you oversee all the marketing promotional as well as everything else that's going on inside the restaurant yeah. tasting sauces and whatnot mm-hmm. so very very cool uh you know a healthy option for people in New York and hopefully one day around the world yeah, we have the logo there. I love that. That's Beautiful. actually in, engraved into the tables mm-hmm. in Ceviche. At the is, restaurant, yeah, yeah. Really nice. Really cool. Cool. So you might be wondering, what is ceviche? Ceviche is the original fusion dish. Its origins can be traced to the coastal regions of South America. Ceviche has brought New Yorkers a unique build-your-own style ceviche menu that blends traditional and innovative flavors. Each sauce is made in-house using the freshest possible ingredients. We have a photo of the lime and the cocoa. Yeah, that's yeah. a really good one. Over quinoa. Yeah, really cool. We'll get more into the menu options, but that's just one of them. And Ceviche's location, conveniently located in Union Square, one of our favorite spots. Um, it's a the restaurant itself is charming. There's pl- you know a place for you to go with your friends. It's a great meeting spot, whether it be you know just hanging out or to have an actual meeting, which is where we yeah. sat and spoke with Lindsay. So that was cool. Um, and it's right down the side street of Fifteenth um, Street, off the NQR four, five, and six, and also close to the path. And it's located within NYU's um, one of the dormitory buildings. Yeah, on the side street around the corner. Cool. So it's really conveni- convenient for students as well. Absolutely. So we know a few of our friends in the health and fitness industry who name Ceviche as their go-to fuel for an active lifestyle on the go. We have as well name it as our go-to. If we're in Union Square, yep. that will be our spot. Mm-hmm. Ceviche is dedicated to providing fresh and healthy, clean ingredients. When we say clean, we mean that, you know, there's going to be nothing artificial. There's like no... Processed. Know, yeah, things like that. So it's just fresh, clean ingredients. For us, ceviche is the perfect post-workout or on-the-go meal. When we're out and about, we need something that is compliant with our lifestyle. It's really hard. Um, we'll get more into the menu in a little bit, but it's really hard when you do try to eat healthy, uh, you know, as your everyday life and mm-hmm. you're, you're out in a pinch and you're like, what the heck am I going to eat? You know, there's only a few options. So it's really, for us, that's, that's like key. Um, Lindsay is also dedicated to providing the community with healthy options and supports the local Union Square Farmer's Market, which is so cool. They use fresh local ingredients, basically like farm to table on the go. Uh, it's the perfect spot to grab a meal after a workout, while you're studying, shopping, whatever, wherever you find yourself in Union Square. Uh, plus they deliver, which makes it even easier to stick to your routine while eating a delicious meal. So That is awesome. Yeah, really I'm cool. going to move to Union Square just so I can get delivered. <laughs> 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 well, within a how many block radius do you deliver again? Uh, we'll be expanding it right now. We go from 8th Street to 23rd. That's pretty cool. But in the next couple of weeks, we'll start going up to 34th. And hopefully Ooh. it'll... Closer and closer. Like, I'll meet you at the corner of 34th. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm just going to go to Penn Station. Just meet me there. <laughs> so on to a little bit about the menu. Yeah. So the op- well, there's a ceviche, ceviche bowl. So you choose your base, which can be masculine greens, coconut rice, or quinoa. Mm-hmm. And then you choose your seafood, white fish, shrimp, salmon, mushrooms, which is that mostly for the vegetarian. Mm-hmm. Is that it? That's Veggie cool. and vegan options. Cool. Nice. And then there's the styles. So that's the sauces, correct? Yep. Sauces with matching ingredients, veggies that go with them. Cool. Wild tiger, Ecuadorian, lime in the coconut, Santorini, and Aji May. Ahimi. 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 <laughs> You're so yeah. cute. We've actually <laughs> tasted, we tasted every single one. They were all amazing. Um, really, one of the most unique ones is the San- Santorini because it's yeah. like a Greek Yeah, that salad. was really cool. Um, you can also, like she said, put any different kind of fish in there. So we had tried that with the salmon, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that one was with really the good. salmon. Yeah. Tried and brought out some of the white fish and the shrimp in different styles. Yeah. So Lindsay really mixed it up good. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I'd say if you see her there, just ask her what, <laughs> what you should get. <laughs> Do you have the Ecuadorian with the shrimp? Yes. That was really good, too. That was one of your favorites. I will, you'll, we'll need to walk through this like over and over <laughs> so you can remind me exactly what we had so okay. that I can reorder. All right, okay. great. So anyone who's watching, you can see the menu up there on the screen. So yeah. you got a better idea. Of they what also have gluten-free tacos. Yes. So <clears throat> the Back to Cali, Mexidorian, the Slow Rider. These are awesome. We, we tried, tried every single all one. of them. <laughs> they were out of this world. Definitely. We have uh, photos of the tacos, tacos. I believe. Mm-hmm. The three of the tacos. Yeah. There. We have a, a, a far view and a close view. They were so good. Those are the ones with the shrimp. Really. Yeah. Delicious. And the, on the side there, on the menu is one of the sides. What is it called? The it's called concha. Concha. It's roasted Peruvian corn. The roasted corn is so good. It goes deliciously on. Can you hear it? The ceviche. Or it also, you can have it as a snack. So. Yeah. Really cool. Really, so really good. So they also have burritos. Um, the burritos are in a flour tortilla and served with a side of hot sauce, correct? Mm-hmm. So those are the Roman holiday, which we have, an, yeah, we have a photo of that too. Off the hook, overboard, mother clucker, abandoned ship. We did not try the burritos <laughs> because so we're gluten free, but you can also get them unwrapped, yeah, which is can, really cool. Yeah, we get all the burritos without the wrap, which is makes the entire menu gluten free. Absolutely. And then this is the uh, the bowls. We have the Cali Fresh, the Venice Beach, the Freebird, and the Nacho Average Bowl, which was the one we mentioned during the cheat. And that there is that one of the bowls. I'm That's finally the Cali getting bowl. it. Cool. I'm finally getting it. Now you're getting it. I'm getting it. What took you so long? Nacho Average. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least. I love when you're like this. I am so slow. It's amazing <laughs> how far I've made it in life. I really? <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then, uh, on again, onto the sides. We spoke about the coconut rice, uh, the crunchy corn, the concha, uh, the guac and chips. Oh, my goodness. They Stop. have guava goat cheese guac, which is ridiculous. Totally. So good. Off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> it really, really is. Uh, black bean salsa and chips. And also, they make soups every day. So we had tasted the soup when we came in. Which Ooh, one was yeah. that? so good. I think you guys had the, the spinach soup. It was red. I think it was the red. Oh, the roasted t- uh, roasted red pepper yeah, soup. Yeah, mm-hmm. so delicious. We make them all in-house as well. No preservatives or processed ingredients. Also. Yeah, really tasty. So that's a little bit more there on the menu. And, wow. Uh, yeah, we'll get into some Q&A now. Yeah. We'll learn a little so bit let's, more. So let's chat a little more about this. Definitely. So, Lindsay, tell us more about the origin of ceviche. Well, we call it the original fusion because the story goes that although it can, they can, they say it can be traced back to the Incas. That's how far back, like 2,000 years. Wow. Um, although they didn't have traditional citrus trees there. The Spanish, when they settled in South America, brought citrus, and also from the West, when the um, Japanese and Chinese came and settled in South America, they brought ginger and soy and all these other ingredients, which really make up what we have of ceviche today, modern ceviche. Um, the citrus, there's many like um, different Asian flavors and versions that, um, that go into the dish. Cool. Um, so your idea of grab and go ceviche is innovative. Are your menu options traditional ceviche, or have you put a spin on those? Obviously, you guys put a spin on them. We definitely did, but we tried to keep some of the traditional aspects in place. Like our wild tiger is a very traditional Peruvian ceviche recipe that we got in Lima. And um, the Ecuadorian has some traces of traditional, but you know, we really wanted to put our own spin on it, change it to what we thought New Yorkers would really um, love, and other traditional aspects are the concha, the roasted Peruvian corn. Mm-hmm. Some of them are served with spiced popcorn, which is traditional as well, and um, they get a small piece of sweet potato in each one, which right. is traditional to Peru. So a little bit of a mix. We really that's try really to have cool. fun with it. Yeah. It's food. It's I supposed think that's to be great. fun. Some, Definitely. some people get a little s- like, oh, well, this isn't traditional, you know, but s- you can go into a ceviche and get either traditional or non-traditional and, and have a good time. And yeah. then there's also the people who are like, oh, I don't want something that's like foreign. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's great. <laughs> I don't eat that. What is that? <laughs> so when we met you, when we met, you told us, you know, all about the fresh ingredients, and you spoke a little bit about that earlier. So, you know, just tell our, our viewers a little more about that, gluten-free, dairy-free, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, on the ceviche side of the menu, we really try with everything, keep it gluten-free, dairy-free. Um, most of our um, dishes really fit in the paleo diet as well. Um, we, we use all fresh ingredients. Uh, it really matters. You can taste it in the food. We happen to open... Um, during a time when it was like 
the you know largest citrus That's freeze right, ever right. to hit the world, <laughs> and um, so that you know it made it a little bit difficult because everything we do has citrus in it. Wow. But um, citrus is so good for you; it has so many benefits, both lime and lemon, mm-hmm. and. Um, that's really the base of our, our food, and it's you know the whole uh, there's a whole long list of, of benefits to eating a lot of citrus, and um, so we we kind of base it on that. All fresh ingredients in our sauces. We use handmade corn tortillas for our tacos to keep them in line as well. Fantastic, that's really cool. and I love that. You know, you're not going into a place and getting a gluten-free option. It's naturally gluten-free. Yes. It's naturally dairy-free. You're not even having to substitute. I mean, you put coconut milk in the coconut rice, but that's coconut rice. So the food that you're getting is naturally just the way it as is. It's mm-hmm. no kind of substitutions, which is mm-hmm. really cool. Um, can you also tell us more about the farmer's market ingredients used this summer? And is that something you guys will con- try to continue? Absolutely. We've made great um, connections throughout the summer. So hopefully we can continue to get their products through the winter. We just have to get through our first year to really know exactly if they can handle our our quantity. Mm-hmm. But um, all of our herbs came from the, the farmer's market. Our tomatoes, our, our red peppers, our spicy peppers. That's so um, cool. Yeah, that's really awesome. Were, it's great to be that close to them. Yeah. And we worked with the local fishermen that come to the market a bit as well. And, you know, had that in our backyard and really wanted to support the community, the market, and offer the best ingredients we could get our hands on. That's really important. It's nice Definitely. to know that you're going to a place that, you know, is not just looking for you to come in and, you know, buy their things. And it's just more of like a group effort, a community effort. So that's really nice. Absolutely. So tell us more about the sauces and recipes that you and your partner have come up with and you know, what inspired those flavors? Like, I know we, you know, we talked about the Santorini, it's more of a Greek, you know, so more of the fun stuff. Yeah, we, you know, all of our sauces are completely different um, in in taste, texture, and so we we really didn't want them to be a little bit different, you know, one thing just plays off the next, really different across the board. So, you know, the wild tiger was kind of set for us, Mm because that's traditional. Uh, We also, the ahimi is a spicy version of um, the wild tiger. Everything else, you know, we, um, ceviche is very popular in the Caribbean. So we wanted to find our own Caribbean flavors, which came the lime and the coconut. Inspired the yeah, name Yeah, that's as a great well. one. Yeah. yeah. And the coconut ginger sauce with shredded mango, carrots, red onion, jalapeno, and a little toasted coconut on top is very different than the Ecuadorian that you liked, which is um, roasted heirloom tomatoes, red mm-hmm. peppers, and red onions with a little chipotle and citrus in the sauce with fresh avocado and red onion in it. Mm. Um, Santorini has that Greek salad taste. Um, you know, just... They are very st- are starkly different, but yes. all... Excellent. Definitely. Like there's, I mean, as much as I had my favorites, I could definitely have all of them again at the same time. (laughs) (laughs) So you also told us that you make and taste each and every sauce to ensure perfection. Tell us more about your dedication to quality. Yeah. um, Using fresh ingredients sounds easy, Mm -hmm. but it's really difficult. Um, Fresh ingredients change from, you know, after a couple hours, you know, that's our whole concept is based on the fact that citrus changes elements and we have citrus in a lot of our sauces, and so it will change. It will, uh, in our ahi mi sauce, it actually, like, eats the spice. Sometimes, I'll, you know, we'll make the, the sauce fresh, and it's really spicy. And the next morning, it just doesn't have that <laughs> kick anymore. Yeah. So, you it know, wipes the, it out. Yeah, the consistency of our product is very important to us. So we're constantly tasting so we know exactly what's going out. That's really important, too. I mean, some places, you know, they just don't care that much. And I feel like you get like that extra, you can tell the extra attention to detail. Oh, definitely. It's really important. Absolutely. <clears throat> so like I said before, the shop is very charming. You walk in and you're faced with the menu up on the wall. So bright too. It's so bright yeah. and it's, it's welcoming. So for a first timer at Ceviche, you know, they're going to walk in and see, it's all going to be very exciting. You know, how about a little guidance? Like where should one start? You know, do you recommend any, you know, dishes for a first timer? Absolutely. Uh, everybody's a little bit different with it, with their views on cured seafood or quote unquote raw seafood. <laughs> and um, so try to, uh, I've trained my staff to really try to communicate and read the customer. And if you come in there for the ceviche side of the menu, then I think the wild tiger is a good place to start. It kind of lowers your barrier. Like, okay, I trust, you know, this is right. quality. It, it's authentic. Um, so a lot of people start with the wild tiger, and 
Uh, if you come in to just, you know, for like the taco and burrito side of the menu, the tacos are really great. They're stuffed full, mm-hmm. nice hand uh, handmade tortillas. And they're really something special. We put a lot of ingredients in there. Where most places you go get a taco, it's your basic three ingredients, and that's right. it. We've got mango and jalapeno and fresh avocado in them. Um, so one of them has the coconut rice in there. So they're really, we built them to be special. They really are packed with some awesome a whole group of ingredients Definitely. it's not just like meat and salad like it's just like everything and if you're a daring person i recommend trying <clears throat> like a few different things like we had the tacos we tried the ceviche the ceviche but we also had like the guac with chips and there's like the soup so it's like if you're someone who's willing to try new stuff, like have a little bit of everything. Yeah, it's let's not forget it. that it's very affordable. Oh, of course. So you can definitely go in there and try a bunch of different yeah. stuff. And like the, the board is up, the menu is up on the wall. So take a minute, take a step back. <laughs> take a time a to read, ask questions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you should definitely words. take your time for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So have you found a lot of specifically healthy eaters coming in or is it a mixed demographic? It is a mixed demographic. I think we get certain um, groups of people at certain times of the day. Mm-hmm. Where lunch we get um, our office crowd, the people that, that work around there that do care what they what they eat or they come in and, and they don't really care but they just love our food right. and they kind of ignore the fact that it's so healthy for you. Uh, and then certain times like the after gym, you know, after work and then go to the gym, we get a lot of people coming straight from the gym yeah. knowing that this is going to fill me up. I was going to, f- you know, fuel the workout that I just had mm-hmm. and not ruin the day. Right. And, Absolutely. But still go to bed satisfied. That's great. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Satisfied. We were so full. Definitely the work. I think we, we ate at like seven and we didn't go to bed until much later and mm-hmm. we were like full the whole time mm-hmm. that was <laughs> awesome so i was very surprised because i was not educated on <laughs> ceviche so funny so i was like oh we're gonna i'm like yeah i can't wait that was so good you know we had tried it at, at jacqueline's event so we're sitting there and we're eating <laughs> eating the Santorini and I'm just as I'm about to take the bite <laughs> michelle informs me that i'm about to eat quote-unquote raw salmon and i was like whoa wait a minute here because i was like you don't eat sushi so how are you how are you managing here i just like threw on the brakes for a second and i was like it doesn't matter this is so good i'm just gonna eat it (laughs) but you had meant you know you use the word cured you know or you know quote unquote raw so tell us a little bit more about the mix of the citrus and the raw fish and how that all works together yeah so you can cure protein with with citric acid or with salt a lot of people know it with like salami and kind of the dried Mm -hmm. meats um it's both called cured um it's just such a healthy when you use heat to cook a protein especially a clean protein Mm -hmm. you lose a lot of its uh, a lot of the nutritional um you know in um ingredients in there Mm -hmm. and so um, with the citric acid, after a couple seconds in the in the marinade, you can see the fish turning um, opaque, a little bit more white, especially with like the salmon and the tuna, which are really brightly colored. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, get, we use all fresh seafood, um, and, and so basically, it's it sort of it cooks it, but not all the way, basically. Yeah, is that it? Well, yeah, and it's still cooking it. It's still, you know, heat comes to mind. Right. Know, flame or, mm-hmm. or an oven. So it's a completely different method of, of cooking, but it's extremely healthy. It's very safe. It's been around so long. Mm-hmm. And uh, it just retains all that flavor. It really sucks up the citrus and, like, prepares for the, the sauce to come on it. If you didn't know you were eating raw fish, you probably wouldn't. And because it's, like she said, it's cooked by the citrus. And it's not the same as sushi at all. So I was, like, four fish in. And, then, like, Michelle then all of a sudden says this. And I was, like, <laughs> Yeah, because Lisa doesn't eat sushi. So Hold the difference, up. though, is that the texture is different. You're yeah. getting a lot of crunch. You're you're getting, mm-hmm. you know, it doesn't taste fishy or raw or anything no, like not that. No, you have the delicious flavors from the sauce. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to have raw, it's it's, it's not just not the same. Tender too. Yeah, it's, yeah. You know, it's not chewy. It's Mm-mm. not. It's just really clean, easy to eat. Yeah, it's just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so what has the response been for you guys? Oh, it's been great. Yeah, uh, I think we picked the perfect neighborhood mm-hmm. awesome. to launch in. So diverse, open-minded folks. Yeah, very <laughs> open-minded. We've got a ton of residents that support us That's and. Great. Um, the business crowd that work around there, either is media, there's a lot of creative around there, fashion, house. So we have a lot of people to reach out to. We have the students, the NYU and the new school students. But they've all given us a lot of support. Cool. So that's great. great. That's great. 
more to come, I'm sure. Absolutely. So how long have you been open and what have you learned throughout the uh, initial months? Uh, we opened June 3rd and I could write an encyclopedia <laughs> on all that I've Starting learned. Starting with that citrus drought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, you know, just learned so much about the food um, and how to make it in large quantities. Um, really about the branding, about the people in the neighborhood, um, you know, just about a lot about myself, being an entrepreneur as much as uh, I've been through small projects in my past, really doing something that was that I, mine, mm -hmm. my idea, and I got to see through creation and really going after my dream is where I've learned probably the most. Just That's really cool. About myself and handling it and all the stress that comes with it and mm -hmm. all the good and the bad, and uh, it's just been such a great ride. That's awesome. So on the same track there, we talked a little bit during Real Talk. So you're very ambitious and your story is inspiring. Do you have any advice, any more advice to those who have dreams and goals they want to achieve but might be hesitant to take the chance? Yeah. Um, yeah I love meeting um, entrepreneurs and future entrepreneurs. And it's a tough world we live in, especially we live in a very tough city, um, all the same. So, you know, trust yeah. don't lose even though you know the world can be intense and especially the corporate world world can really get to people if yeah. they come out of college and that's mm -hmm. their first experience working is is still trust the universe and develop ideas and don't be afraid to kind of call something a bad idea or just you know even something you've been passionate about since you're a kid um some things just aren't ready yet so um pursue and, and keep your eyes open but um you know you never know when your next idea is going to come. And um, and sometimes you just got to go for it, as scary as it is. Yeah, I think the um, moral that we kind of got from your story, too, is take a risk and really believe. Um, I mean, the way that you just kind of said, I'm going to just go for this, is just so in inspiring and empowering, I think, mm -hmm. which is really something that more people should should keep in mind. Yes. Definitely. Absolutely. So what makes Savich unique to other healthy spots in NYC? Well, for quick serve especially, we're really showcasing fish mm -hmm. um, as a, a clean protein. Um, our bodies just um, digest it much easier than a lot of land animals and mm -hmm. other meats. So um, a lot of people are surprised that we have such good quality fish in a quick serve environment. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and other things is that we don't, you know, we don't lose like the nutritional benefits by not cooking it with heat by using the citrus and and we really have something special that you can't get anywhere else right now and um, you know, we're we're going to start a trend and mm -hmm. really get people to know what ceviche is. Mm -hmm. A lot of people come in and ask us what it is, so there's no shame in, in not knowing. Right, right. Uh, if you really haven't been exposed to it, how would you know? Or maybe you've seen it on a menu somewhere in the appetizer section. You're like, I don't really know. Right, you heard it on the Food Network. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make a ceviche. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, he's going to make a ceviche. What is that? <laughs> yeah, so it could be a scary thing to just, like, decide to try one mm -hmm. day. And um, we definitely recommend that you go in and try it. That's definitely. for sure. Definitely. And so it kind of takes the, uh, the, you know, if you have it at like a sit down restaurant. It, this takes the edge off of it. Yeah, definitely. It's totally chill, totally comfortable, right. you know. Affordable. Yeah. And, and you'll become, you know, a favorite. Mm -hmm. You'll become a favorite of yours. So what would you say is your overall mission and goal? And what do you think is next for you guys? <coughs> well, our mission has always been to really connect with the healthy minded community, a lot of the fitness aspects. So, you know, keeping that intact and still growing the brand, um, staying true to our core um, mission with the food and keeping the food fresh and healthy and, uh, and getting it out there. We're going nice. to have to grow and educate more people on the food and convert more non-sushi yep. eaters. Um, <laughs> yeah, <Yep>. definitely. <laughs> if I like it, you're going to love it. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, because Lisa could be a tough crack. I am a tough, tough critic. Tough critic. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Love it. So as always, feel free to contact us for any additional information um, on any of the stuff we spoke about today here with Lindsay. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, all the links and the info will be posted on our blog soon. Absolutely. So, you guys want to know how to try ceviche? You can come out to our 50th episode uh, event and attempt to win yourself a ceviche gift card. Yeah. Which would be a great, a great idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, um, we also have... What's happening here? There's so there's an offer. Yes. Lindsay's okay. Giving, um, yeah. My eyes were like totally like bugging out on that. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> Lindsay has an offer: seven dollars off your first order. Okay. So head down to Ceviche and mention Four C Fitness, mm -hmm. and you can get seven dollars off your first order, and you will 
oh, we will constantly go back. I can promise you. And honestly, that gives you guys like no excuse to try everything on yeah, the menu. <laughs> absolutely. Because it's that affordable. Yeah. Like you can definitely try a few dishes. Yeah. So yeah, definitely mention 4C and you'll yeah. get $7 off, which is so generous of you guys. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you so for much. That. And you can also reach out or stop in to meet Lindsay with any questions you might have. They are located at 21 East 15th Street in New York City in Union Square between 5th Avenue and Union Square West. Like we said, they're really close when you get right off the train. It's, it's right, boom, there. right there. Or, um, no you matter can't where, miss it. Definitely. It's a beautiful storefront. If you want to give them a call and find out where they are, learn more. It's 212-242-4976. If you want to email and speak to Lindsay, you can reach out to info at ceviche.com or you can go check out the menu. You can actually order online at w- <coughs> excuse me, w- www.ceviche.com c-e-v-i-c-h.com for those listeners yeah and so check it out guys it's really we've made it very easy for you (laughs) (laughs) no excuses as usual so we're gonna do a little quick tabata of the week have do you do tabatas after i have yeah yeah. any of your favorite moves in tabatas or um no i just try to get through it (laughs) yeah i'm just focused on getting through yeah this is no favorite event to me that's true (laughs) this is a pretty basic one so if you don't know what a tabata is it is a quick four minute exercise you can tack on to anything it's 20 seconds of work with a 10 second break and we have a pretty basic one tonight it's 20 seconds of jumping jacks with a 10 second break 20 seconds of bicycle crunches with a 10 second break 20 seconds of mountain climbers with a 10 second break and 20 seconds of russian twists you can do those with or without weight for a 10 second break you're going to repeat the whole thing for a total of four minutes that's a good one is our tabata is there anything else Lindsay, that you'd like to add about ceviche or about anything that we've spoke about today i really appreciate you ladies having me on the show helping me try to spread the word and get some exposure on uh what we're trying to do absolutely our pleasure yeah and i think anyone who checks it out is going to be really pleasantly surprised and you guys will see it's really easy way to fuel and you know inspire your healthy lifestyle and Mm -hmm. it's kind of a great way to stay on track and feel like i'm having something delicious that's a treat but i'm still eating really healthy i didn't blow my day like you said agree you can go have a workout and then you can go have it as your post recovery which is awesome so 100 percent check it out so thank you guys so much for tuning in for our show this week thank Thank you you, Lindsay of ceviche for joining us as always a huge thank you to skinny man and three one for their help with the production of our show join us next week it's our 50th episode we're making it oh my god Bye. next wednesday november 12th we will turn 50 well we look uh, good for 50 i think so <laughs> <laughs> and remember choose commit challenge and change have thanks a great guys night. have a great night <laughs>